10 year old child in her pajamas arrested by Sacramento police. Let's put up the picture full mass. I'm gonna give you the background to this insane saga. New body cam footage obtained as part of an audit shows that Sacramento police handcuffed a terrified 10 year old girl crying in her pajamas, 10 years old. At the time of the incident, the department said that the officer had, and I quote, reasonable and articulable concerns for his safety, was justified the lawful detention of the young child who obviously is black. Uh, the reason why they dropped that line is because that is supposed to be a catch all for police officers. If their suspicion is reasonable and they can articulate their suspicion, they can do anything for their safety basically. Let's put up picture. Sacramento City Council meeting Tuesday, all right? During this council meeting, police chief Kathy Lester said, and I quote, there is no circumstance where it's okay to handcuff a 10 year old, regardless of race. The 32nd incident was played at the meeting about the audit's findings related to improper searches done by Sacramento police. The officers initially went to the home in an effort to conduct a search related to a stolen car and firearms investigation involving a known gang member. Obviously, uh, they believed that the gang member was a 10 year old black girl in her pajamas. Upon announcing themselves, they saw people inside, but no one would answer the door. They have a right to not answer the door. Officers saw a person running through the house, turning off lights, the police account states. That person came to the door and was immediately detained. The officer asked how old they were, realized the person was only 10 and did immediately unhandcuff them. Inspector General Dwight White said the girl has been with her bedridden mother, grandmother, when police arrived. Then, when she finally opened the door, they immediately handcuffed her, he said. They were rude and marched her to the car. The girl could be heard telling officers in the video, I'm a baby. You're not a baby if you're not listening. An officer responds, she should not have been handcuffed even for a second, White said. If this girl was another race, she likely would not have been handcuffed, end quote. So an officer goes to a home, a child in her pajama, pajamas answers the door. In his report, <clears throat> he acts as if he's unaware this is a child. Now, I don't believe that, but let's say we did benefit of the doubt scenario I present to you. Do you want an investigator who is certified to kill? Not knowing the difference between a 10 year old child and a gang member who's going to try to kill him? Exactly, it doesn't matter what his why is, his ass should not be a cop, period. All right, Dan thoughts. I just imagine how unskilled you have to be to be unable to de-escalate a situation with a 10 year old girl without being like, right, without exactly. having to resort to handcuffs. I mean, I this is America, I guess on the bright side, they didn't resort to weapons. Like, but you have to think about how traumatized that girl is going to be and how effectively that is deprioritized in our system. It's gonna take money and time and healthcare to, you know, provide treatment for that traumatizing experience that did need to happen just because of this cop's negligence. So yep. absolutely disgusting. And you see the difference in leadership. The current chief is saying, I don't give a damn what the situation was. You do not handcuff a 10 year old child. And then you had the initial uh, proclamation come out, another leadership dynamic. Oh, uh, he had reasonable, articulable suspicion. He was good, no problem here. He did what he needed to do. Leadership matters, we gotta get good people in positions of leadership always.